Shalom brothers and sisters. So breaking news right now at the moment is the global IT outage. Now I'm going to give you the facts that we've got so far and it's interesting they're already deploying fixes and working on the problem. But let's look at what this affects and then talk about it quickly. There's a massive global IT outage that has disrupted numerous industries worldwide affecting flights, banks, retailers and media outlets. There's a real dependence on particular companies in the tech space, Rich Meta, founder of Rigorous Digital Explain, Cloudflare, which sits in front of some of the biggest websites, Amazon, whose AWS service is used by many large service providers, and so on. With all that consolidation comes the risk that if just one of those providers has a global issue, which is what happened today, and has happened with AWS and Cloudflare in the past, so it's not an isolated thing. It risks disrupting global commerce and people's ability to do the very basic tasks. So absolute control is funneled to exactly two or three people and they control all of it. Something happens to them, everything's gone. And, and I want you to think about that while I keep on here. Airlines across the globe have been significantly affected by the outage. United Airlines, Delta Airlines, American Airlines, Allegiant Air, they've all grounded flights. <clears throat> Sorry, American Airlines attributed the disruptions to a technical issue with CrowdStrike, echoing a similar sentiment from Frontier Airlines, which issued a ground stop order due to a major Microsoft technical outage. European carriers, Ryanair and KLM, just to use a few of them as an example, face substantial disruptions. Emergency services have not been spared from the fallout, mainly in the United States and Alaska, where many 911 and non-emergency call centers aren't working correctly. Healthcare systems have been hit hard. In the UK, the NHS EMIS system used by doctors to book appointments, view patient notes, order prescriptions, make referrals, all of it has been disrupted, causing significant issues. They've canceled elective surgeries due to this whole disruption that's going on. Media outlets have felt the impact as well. Sky News reportedly experienced disruptions. Banks reported difficulties processing digital payments, mobile phone carriers were disrupted and customer service in a number of companies were completely down. The UK's biggest rail operator warned of possible train cancellations due to the IT issue. So are you getting the picture? This is all real right now. It's almost as if I'm giving you a news report post rapture harpazzo on what's happening in the world. Everything is out. It's all down. Everything's switched off. I can't use my cell phone. I can't access my money in the bank. I can't get on an airplane. They're all grounded. I can't get on a train. It's too dangerous. Everything, the media is not communicating correctly. What is going on? They've shut it all down because of two or three companies that control the whole thing. And those two or three companies report to the people in the New World Order. This that happened today is an example for us of how quickly they can paralyze the world with what we currently depend on every day in our lives. Media, cell phones, uh, transport, the ability to function, to get access to funds, to work on business, to be able to run things, everything they can switch off when they need to switch it off. And I'm telling you right now, this feels to me like a test run. Why now? Why suddenly? Why all at once? Maybe they're prepping for when they need to do this in the very nearby future to bring about absolute control and get everyone to toe the line post-Arpazzo, post-Rapture, post the beginning of World War III, all that will be happening at the same time. Watch this space. Pray, spread the gospel. But this, this is an example, I think, and an important new story of what's going to happen. And we're seeing just a piece of how easy it's going to be for them to do just that. God bless you. Uh, be excited that things like this just show us how much closer we are to that blessed hope that we're all waiting on. Shalom.